morning, fifth graders. It is Thursday, April 2nd. I hope you had a great day yesterday. I saw some awesome work come in. I saw a lot of you on those Google pages. And I think the sun's supposed to come out today, so hopefully it'll be nice. Get outside and have some extra recess. For today, a couple reminders. Um, your question three pretest reading responses. I received a lot of those yesterday. If you did not share your Google slide, make sure you share that with me so I can read it and leave you some comments. Also, make sure you are not just listing two themes, make sure you are writing two paragraphs. One paragraph is your first theme and evidence from the song. Second paragraph is your second theme and evidence from the song. Write those out just like you would if you were sitting in our classroom. Okay, um, also, on your email that I'm sending to parents and on all your lesson pages in Google, I will be putting a link for another Google form. I just figured out how to make them and I'm enjoying it. Um, this one is some questions about your fantasy book clubs, like how far are you in your book? Are you done? Do you have other books you can read? It should be pretty quick. Think of it as like we're sitting in reading class and I'm saying, raise your hand if, raise your hand if, raise your hand if. should be pretty quick, but I would really appreciate it if you guys could fill that out for me today or tomorrow. That would be awesome. I also sent a survey to parents, so if you want to say, hey, Mom, Dad, did you get a survey from Mrs. Stallenwork? Just so I can kind of see how they are feeling about our workload and how virtual learning is going. Um, also, I know I have had a chance to Google Meet with quite a few of you already this week. I'll be putting out a few more of those links today. I have some meetings throughout the day with other teachers, so I'm not going to pick a specific time. But I may just go on to a book club page and stick a link on there. And if you happen to see that page, you can click it. I'll put one on our class conversation page. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll be morning or afternoon, but just keep an eye on those pages. And as long as the link's there, you can click on it. When the chat is done, I will delete the link. Okay, so look for that. Also, if you want to video chat with me, you can send me a Google or a Gmail email or a Gmail chat or just put it on the Google Doc like, hey, Mrs. Stallenberg, can you video chat with me on this day at this time? And I will let you know if that works and I'll get back to you. So if you're interested in that, just a one-on-one -on -one, or if you have a couple friends you want to chat with, let me know and we can make that work. Because I am usually sitting here at my computer all day, every day. Except I try and take a walk at lunch, get away from my screen. But I'm here all day, every day, and unless I'm in a meeting with teachers, I would be more than happy to chat with you face-to-face. -face. Um, lessons today. For math, you have a regular lesson video. I believe it's from Mr. Rob today. And one student book page, student book page 224, I'm checking my list, and Home Connections 119 and 120. So a few less pages today than our last few lessons. Uh, so get those done. Make sure you put them on your slide. I'm trying to... Like if you put question marks, if you're not sure of something, I'm trying to fill in on the side where it says comments. I'm trying to fill in how to solve that or the correct answer to give you some hints. But please, when you take those pictures, try as best as you can to make them clear um, so I can see. Also, if you could label the page numbers on your slide or in the speaker notes or a comment anywhere on that page, that would really be helpful because... I'm going through my binder and my books and I'm trying to match up what it looks like and sometimes on those slides with those pictures it's really hard to read. So any help that you can give me to be super clear of what you're showing me is very much appreciated. Um, so that's math today. Reading today we have a Newzella article that I shared with you. It's about virtual learning. My kids actually read it at Riverside yesterday. It's not too long. Um, I'd appreciate it if you would read that article, put a couple annotations on the side, and complete the quiz. Make sure for me to count that quiz, you need to try and get a three out of four. So give that a try. It's a pretty interesting article about learning at home. Um, also, there is a video lesson from Ms. Mrozinski and I. There are no chapters from The Thief of Always to listen to today, so a little break from that. Um, and remember, I have all of those on the reading page if you scroll down. So if you are behind a chapter or two or you are not remembering what happened in the story, you can always go back and listen to those chapters. Also, if you're ever missing a link or you're not sure you want to hear read aloud again, just send me an email and I can send you the link again so you can 
have access to that if you can't find it. I went through our Google Docs yesterday and tried to clean them up a little bit so stuff was easier to find, but everything is there from every day. You can always go back. Okay, um, and also for reading today, you have a writing prompt. I know we did it yesterday. Today you do. So you can do that writing prompt about The Thief of Always. You can do it about your book club book. Um, you can do it about The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Or if you are reading another fantasy book, feel free. Um, so our prompt today is talking about what Here Be Dragon moments you see in your story. And you'll be learning what that means in our video lesson today. All right, fifth graders. I think those are all of my updates I have for you today. I hope you have a great Thursday. Can you believe how fast this week has gone? I can't. So again, feel free to message, email, chat, send me any questions that you have. I'll try my best to answer them. Have a super great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, fifth graders.